Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got three identical circles with radius 1 that are inscribed in this rectangle A, B, C, D as you can see in this figure. And we are going to calculate the area of this rectangle. Once again, the information that's been given to us is that these are three identical circles that are tangent to each other and their radius is 1. And here is our action plan. We want to calculate the area of this rectangle. And we know the area of a rectangle formula A equal to A times B where A and B are the sides of the rectangle. So therefore our task is going to be calculate the length this side, length, and the width of this rectangle. So let's go ahead and get started with our solution. And here's our very first step. Let's draw the diameters. Let's go ahead and draw the diameters for this circle. All right. And we're going to draw the diameter of this circle as well. And here are our nice looking diameters. And we know that the diameter is going to be 2 since the radius is 1 so this diameter is 2 and this diameter is 2 so the total length is going to be 4 units thus this horizontal length turns out to be 4. And here is our next step let's go ahead and label the centers I'm going to label this center S this center R and this center P. And now we are going to connect centers S and R. Let's go ahead and connect that one. And we are going to connect centers P and R as well. Let's go ahead and connect these one as well really carefully. And finally we are going to draw a perpendicular from a point P onto this line segment SR. Let's go ahead and draw this perpendicular all the way on this one over here and somewhere on this line I am going to call that point Q and since this is a perpendicular this has got to be 90 degree and here is our nicer looking diagram with the centers S, R and P and Q is a point on this line segment S, R and now let's focus on this triangle P, Q, R. We know that the radius is 1 so this Q, R is going to be the length is going to be a 1 unit and we know that this this is the radius of this right hand side circle and this is the radius of this bottom circle and each has a radius 1 so this total length PR is going to be a 1 plus 1 equals to 2 so thus QR turns out to be 1 PR is 2 units and now we are going to calculate PQ this side we are going to calculate and we know that this triangle PQR is a right angle triangle so therefore we are going to use a Pythagorean theorem and here's the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this QR as an a side a this longest leg I'm going to call this PR as a C and this Q PQ I'm going to call this side B and we need to find out the value of B and here is our Pythagorean formula A square plus B square equal to C square let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in our case A is 1 so it's going to become 1 square plus b we don't know b i'm going to just leave it there b square and c in our case is 2 
square so one square is going to be a one plus b square equals to four let's move this one on the other side so b square is going to be a four minus one so b square is three let's take the square root on both sides to undo this square so that means b turns out to be square root of three so the length of this pq side turns out to be square root of three and now let's go ahead and draw these radius of this circle vertically let's draw this one and we know that the radius is one so this height is going to be one unit and likewise let's draw a vertical radius of this bottom circle as well and that's going to be a one unit as well so thus the total height of this rectangle turns out to be this is one unit over here and we figured out the height pq is square root of three which is right here and once again this radius is one as well if we add these one together one plus one is two plus square root of three so thus total vertical width turns out to be a two plus square root of three and here is our final step we are going to calculate the area of the rectangle now and let's recall the area of a rectangle formula a equals to a times b where a is four this is our a value is four and our b value is this one and now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula so a is going to be equal to in our case a is 4 times b is 2 plus square root of 3 so thus the area of this rectangle turns out to be a 4 times 2 plus square root of 3 so thus the area of this rectangle turns out to be 4 times 2 plus square root of 3 square units are in terms of decimal it is approximately equal to 14.93 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye